that, hey, today on the Man Cave, we're gonna do a little something different. We're going to smoke a brisket for Labor Day. Today is Sunday, the day before Labor Day. But we're gonna get together today since uh, nobody has to work tomorrow. We can hang out and drink a little bit and smoke some brisket and sausage and we'll see how this turns out. So, like I said, something a little different. So stay tuned and we'll um, keep you posted as we go along. So today here on the Man Cave, we're gonna try something a little different. We're going to smoke a brisket. Let's see how this turns out. I've done many before. I love the barbecue. And never have done a video on barbecuing, so thought I would do one today on Labor Day tomorrow. So this is brisket going on. It's about a 15 pound trimmed up, fat side down. Make my own beef tallow water pan there to keep everything moist. Here's my season that with today, little killer hogs. Found the stuff actually at Academy yesterday. Um, I know they said they carry it, but I've never seen it before. So I've used it before. I've watched his videos and stuff online. He's a great barbecue smoker. So uh, today we'd try that and see how it does. I'm using, uh, smoking it on a Pit Boss XL, Austin XL. So. We'll see how this does. Should take about eight hours. We'll smoke it for about four, maybe five, and then we'll wrap it and go from there. Let it rest for a couple hours. And eat it tonight. So I'll update you as we go. All right. Well, let's do a little update here on this brisket. Two hours in, big tallows melting down good. Looking good. All right, well, here we go. I'm gonna attempt to pour this beef tallow into this jar right here. It is a little warm. Pour some of it off and then we'll let it continue on. Update on the brisket. Go ahead and give it a little spritz. It's just apple juice, a little bit of apple juice, a lot of water more than anything. So, move this water pan. a little turn put this over here keep it a little more moist running across it one last little spritz down we're about four and a half hours in so it's doing really good looking really good all right i'll update you in a little bit all right well here we are about five hours in Let's see where our temperatures are at 250 degrees 240 with this stall, we kind of jumped over the stall a little bit. I wanted to think, let's see what it looks like inside. It's looking really good. It's getting really close to time to wrap, so there's that tallow that's still cooking away. We've got it over here on the side that we're going to use to, you know, mix this with when we wrap it in uh, butcher paper. And uh, that'd be real good. We'll see what happens. Like I said, about five and a half hours in. And, uh, bring you back whenever we wrap it up so that boss is doing good we're using um, uh, just post oak pellets and like I said you saw the seasoning earlier which was just a salt and pepper mixture that uh, killer hogs puts out and then a hot rub to give it just a little more spice to it but it makes a really good flavor so anyways we'll bring you back whenever we wrap it up thing over here on the table and give it a little spritz with some apple juice take it 
take a little bit of this beef tallow. We're going to pour it on the top of it. Let's give it a little juice. This is stuff I made earlier. And then we'll get it wrapped up and get it back on the pit. Go till it hits about 202, 205, somewhere in that area, but it's looking really good. And uh, we'll bring you back for it when we pull it off the pit. All right, we got it on the grill. I'm gonna stick some probes in it. And see when it gets close to getting done. And yes, that one is a little warm. All right, so let's see. Yeah, we're still coming back down that first one up to 167. So we're gonna kick this up. It's about 300 degrees. It'll actually run about 275, 285. So pellets are still looking good. All right, a couple, three hours, it ought to be ready to go. All right, well, here we go, finished product. I actually cut us a couple slices already, and um, they actually look pretty good, nice and tender. I say it's tender, I can't hold the phone and do it. That's pretty good. A nice smoke ring, got a pretty good bend to it. It's pretty good. So, anyways, well, that's a uh, my first video for these. All right, thank you. All right, there it is. Everything all cut up. Got the juices from the tallow. It looks nice and good. A little bit of sausage to go with it. So, all right, well, there you have it. Uh, brisket made today. Um, like I said, just do a little recap. We used some killer hogs, uh, salt, pepper, garlic mixture, and a little bit of hot rub turned out great did not have any hot heat to it whatsoever and um like i said it turned out really well um had uh, my family over and everybody seemed to really enjoy it so um it turned out great so you know next time you want to barbecue something smoke something give it a try uh you saw how hard it was i mean put it on the grill and let the grill do all the work so but anyways all right just thought i would you know recap just a little bit about what we did today and um like I said, it turned out really good. All right. Thanks for watching.